Hello and welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley and today I wanted to show you something on the wonderful Baby Lock Triumph. I don't know if you guys are aware, but this is National Serger Month, which I don't know if you can get any better than that. So what we're going to do today is we are going to do a left needle chain stitch. And of course, the dog, as soon as he hears me talk, he comes over and he sits on the tripod. How? I don't know. Stay over there. Okay. So that won't, that won't wiggle again unless he comes back. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to thread up for your left needle, your C1 needle, which is right here. Okay. You got your O1 and your O2 on that side over there. Let's bring this up just a little bit. So we've got our O1, our, I'm sorry, our C1, C2, C3 needles here. We are going to thread up for our C1. And all that's doing is it's giving us the left needle uh, chain stitch. So that's what we're doing here. And you can see that there's notches in your little chain foot here. And this is your um, cover chain foot. It is absolutely wonderful. So make sure you've got this on when you're actually doing chain stitching so your notch in the front you can watch your fabric and you're going to watch that notch and where you play where that notch is showing is where your chain stitch will stitch okay so that's what those are there for so we've got our c1 threaded up and we've got our chain stitch over here okay so we've got our chain looper in this little section here which threads on the right side okay you're going to go in from the back into this little um, circle. And there you're gonna move forward in this little channel here and then into your chain looper, okay? And then of course you've got this set for threading at that point. And you will thread that up. And then on your chain looper, you're gonna thread that in the back. Um, and that's another little, another little um, sequence. And I think I've got videos on how to do that. Um, but you're gonna get that into your chain looper C1 needle and that feeds down and up and around and right into your chain looper or your chain needle here. Okay and make sure you've got your cover chain stitch. Um, this little lever is going to be to the left. That way when you're threading that's the air that'll pump. Otherwise it will um, on your overlock side when you thread, it'll actually pump the air into it, to it on that side, okay? And then make sure you've got your quick, re quick reference threading guide. This is how you will, you'll remember to do everything. And you don't have to remember it because it's all written out for you. Your length is gonna be between two and four. I set that on three most of the time. The width and all this does not apply. So when you see these little lines here, it means it's, it's inapplicable with what you're doing. So your chain needle tension, which is right here on the, on the, actually you can't see that. Let's move the camera here. It's right here. That's going to be between four and six. I placed it on five. And then when you talk about your looper tension, that's going to be between three and five when you're doing your C1 needle. And I put that on four. Okay. And then let's look down at this little section here. And on our upper looper selector, let's take this off. That's your chain table. Upper looper selector is down and your blade position is in lock. Okay, so your blade's gonna be locked and you're ready to go. So let's put our, our table back on. Now, here's the important thing to remember when you're talking about your chain looper or your chain stitch. Here are, here is the reason I, and I'm going to try to bring that light out a little bit better, that I absolutely love the chain stitch. Look at that beautiful stitch. So that is the 12 weight thread. That is one, you've, that's only from your chain looper. Okay. That's, that's one, one spool. This is actually your needle thread, obviously. So when you're stitching for your chain, your uh, chain stitch, you need to turn your fabric over. 
Okay, so when you see that, li that line right there, that means that's your needle thread. When you see this, that's your looper. If you are stitching your chain stitch and you want to have that beautiful chain stitch, which is really what you're going for, I don't know why you would stitch it otherwise, you're going to have your fabric right side down. So when you're doing something, let's say you're actually quilting, you're gonna draw lines on the back of your fabric so that you know exactly what you're doing. But let's just go with this. So we're just gonna go, now when you're starting off as well, something else, when you just thread up, you need to make sure your fabric is underneath your needle. That's how it develops that chain. Once it's actually established the chain, you're good to go and you don't have to have it under your, under your needle. Um, and then you don't have fabric that has a gap in it. Okay, so let's just run this right through here. And when it comes to stitching your chain stitch, it's not a race. You're not looking for quick. You're just gonna keep it, it's very important that you keep it at a um, steady, not up and down. Don't, don't pretend like you're driving a car and you're starting and stopping. See that nice chain right there? That's, that's create, it's, it's sometimes you'll see that actually unravel, it's okay but that's what you really what you're looking for, okay? So that's the back side of your fabric. That's your wrong side and there is that beautiful beautiful chain stitch on the front. Right? That is so pretty. Just so pretty. And then picture doing that in variegated thread or um gosh, you can use anything. You can use glamour, you can use a whole bunch of different things, but look for your 12 weight, your heavier threads and um, you will create the most beautiful chain stitch ever. And that just really looks beautiful on quilts, on bags, everything. So there is your chain stitch. One of my very, very, very favorite stitches on our Baby Lux uh, sergers. So hopefully that was fun for you guys. If you haven't tried that, definitely do so. And um, you will love it. So don't forget you wanna use your um, your chain, your table, your sewing table, which is what they call it. Okay. Um, so have a wonderful day, everybody. If you haven't joined So Blessed Quilting and Embroidery, please do so. Please do um, subscribe to this. That's how we keep going. When we when we get subscriptions to, when people subscribe to our face or our YouTube channel, that helps us and we can actually um, fund what we're trying to do here to bring you guys all this content. Okay. So thank you so much, everybody. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.